Guillaume Fari, the uh, CEO of Airbus, uh, joining us here. Uh, we're glad to have you here on the set. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I first said to these guys, look, Guillaume's going to be in New York. We'd love to talk with him, and he'd love to come on Squawk Box. Um, one of the main questions, and these guys know we talk about it all the time, is the state of the supply chain. And you and I were talking up front. Is, are you a little more optimistic? Well, uh, it's difficult. Uh, the global supply chains are really in a very difficult place. 2022 has been really bad from that perspective. Uh, we wanted to ramp up uh, by uh, roughly 20% from 21 to 22 in number of planes, and we've managed 8%. Uh, That's so quite disappointing. And it will take us two years to do what we had planned to do in 2022. Uh, yes, it's getting slightly better, but very slowly. So we anticipate to continue to operate in 2023 in very difficult uh, supply chain environments. Uh, but basically, we hope that it's going to be better by end of this year and that we can really accelerate 24 and 25. What's the main problem? Is it labor or is it the fact that when you go down to these tier two and tier three suppliers, um, they've lost so much institutional knowledge and it's hard for them to ramp back up to where they were? Uh, the main problem is that it is not just one problem. <laughs> there are several problems. One is the uh, microelectronic components and the microchips. They go a bit everywhere in the supply chain, so we see a lot of um, impacts. But it's been as well the, as well the, the, the lack of um, uh, workforce uh, in many countries where we had um, educated people uh, with a lot of skills. Uh, they they um, left the companies during COVID-19. It's long to find the resources to train them. So we had a lot of suppliers that have difficulties to do the ramp up at the pace that was anticipated, plus the energy crisis, plus the situation of the logistics around the world. So it's a compound of different crises that at the end makes it very slow to recover. Is your situation different to any degree compared to Boeing? I don't think so. I think that's basically the supply chain you think it's uh, problems. Everybody. And it's I just didn't know if there were certain suppliers you think that you rely on, that they don't rely on, that they have access to, that you don't have access to, that they're doing, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, here and there you must be right. But I mean, overall, the supply chain environment is more or less the same for, for all manufacturers. But we, the Boeing's sort of recent issues in the last five years, I don't know, how, how far back would you, when did uh, Calhoun take over? Uh, yeah, you, I'd say the last three, four to five years. Four to yeah. five years. So it's well documented what's happened. And in terms of market share, what have you, have you picked up market share and taken advantage of some of the issues that Boeing came up? What, what are the, the actual numbers? Yes, actually, we have um, gained market shares uh, because of the difficulties of Boeing and also because of our own uh, ramp up. Uh, the situation today is quite, um, is quite unique. Uh, the market share at Airbus, our market share, is mainly determined by our ability to produce and deliver because we have a very strong backlog. We have already signed contracts with customers for the next 10 years, and therefore uh, it's in our hands. Our, our market share is depending on how many planes we really deliver in a year. That's why the ramp-up is so important. Uh, we've gained market share as well in bookings, in new contracts uh, over the last four to five years, but I think that's mainly thanks to our products. We have very strong products. And I'm just wondering, the, the age-old argument about a level playing field vis-a-vis -vis government help and subsidies, and we always heard that, well, it's not a fair fight because um, Airbus has so much help. I'm wondering whether Boeing, would you say it's now comparable to, to what, the, the subsidies that the United States gives to, to Boeing at this point? Uh, is it even, and now it is even, I guess you'd think. Yeah, so at Airbus, we, we really consider that the level playing field is unbalanced to the benefit of Boeing, especially in those times. Now it is. Yeah, and there's been a fight, you remember, in front of the uh, WTO. We have a ceasefire at the moment, uh, and all eyes are more now on, on China, where the, the growth, I mean, the development of aviation is, is a state. I mean, I wonder if we're going to hear this after the IRA, too, with in, in, not airplanes necessarily, but with everything right. in terms of that we're having the government sort of giving our, our private sector an unfair advantage.